Hello everybody, Torgal here, and welcome back to Galactic Science. Last time we went to the Mars and got us a bunch of this, what is it called again? Dash ingot. This dash stuff here, right? Yeah. Um, so we can start making some Ender I.O. machines and so on. Okay, still making a lot of iron over here. Um, but before we get started with this, I wanted to get uh, a soul sand production automation kind of thing going here. So I prepared this right here, a little bit of dirt. And down here, I'm going to need a block. We're going to put our water intake. Ah, come on, give me that block. Thank you. Here. And apparently, with the latest update, it turned my auto refill on. I don't like that option at all. Okay, so we got the water here. And then right here, I'm going to need to set... A wooden barrel and then I need to come underneath here oh, come on let me get down there and put a transfer node that will suck the soul sand out when it's done we can put this back here yes and we're gonna put a barrel right there and that's gonna where the soul sand is gonna be and over here the water needs to come in from the side uh oh um, oh yes, I need a stick. I forgot that we can use the stick here as the wrench. Um, do I have a stick? Yes, I do. So we can disconnect it. I don't want this to be connecting to the water. That should work. Hmm. I like this. Good. No, it still connects over here. All right, how are we going to do this? It can't go there. We're to the right. Like. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. <laughs> well, I can't go in here because it's water. So we want to put it like this. I think that works. So... Oh yeah, of course, it doesn't work it because I still gotta put the, the world in action upgrade in here. And now this should be filling with water. Yeah, there it is. Cool. Alright, so we got that. And I'm gonna need another block on top. Right here. And we're gonna put another barrel. Right there. Put this block back. And now we can make the input for the sand. Now that's it, just, oh yeah, of course. I need to get two right there, two mycelium. So this is gonna spread here, Well, we can speed it up real quick. With a watering can that should spread quicker. Yep. Come on, give me the last ones. And one more, do it. There we go. And I think I'm gonna keep this stick on me from now on as my wrench. And we're gonna need some sand. Right there, 32 is not much, but it's enough for what we needed today. And we got lots of the silicon dioxide. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there we go. So it's going to fill with water again. It's already full. It's just, you know, it doesn't display it. And you see it's transforming. And when it's at 100%, it's witch water. And then it will simply pull it out. And we're going to just lock these two here. And it already did. So now we got soul sand set up. Interesting, we don't have any mushrooms yet. But it don't matter. All right, cool. So we got that going because we're going to need some soul sand here soon. And, well, it's easier this way than with mine chem. And check it out. I made this crafting station here between episodes. And that is from Better Storage. And I actually wanted to check out this backpack here. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. Probably once we have the leather. But then I found this crafting station here, right? And I made it, and it's just piston crafting table on the storage crate here, which is just stick in the planks. Um, and yeah, this is it right here, and it has an internal inventory, so I like that. So I can, you know, prepare things and just have them in here for my episodes and so on. But the two machines I want to build today, for sure, is the sag mill, this guy right here. And I prepared everything. Um, these capacitors right here are just made with gold and copper and redstone. So those are easy 
and we're gonna take one of you and put the rest back down and then we're also making the alloy smelter prepared everything for this as well there we go now we got these two now let me see here where are we gonna put this hmm put them over here i'm i don't know if we're gonna automate these or not or what's going on i don't really want to put them back here yeah why not i think we can put them right there so let's put the alloy smelter here and the sag mill here and we are slowly running out of power um whenever i charge the ender porters that i have everything is empty and then after a while the three in the back here are filling up again so we are not at the limit yet but i couldn't put any speed upgrades or anything into these so we're definitely gonna have to make some new power here very soon and i have some ideas for that that hopefully is gonna be fun but let's i guess i can save a little cable here if i do this oh, broke one too many there we go now it's all connected again all right cool these should be charging yes and yes awesome so last time i told you guys i wanted to do something a little bit different today and i don't know if it's the right thing to do but i have not found a reason in the quest book or anywhere else that is telling me not to go to the overworld um earth is the past destroyed by humidity to need for power you manage to flee, but it doesn't really tell me not to go back there. So I'm not sure if I should go back there because the, the reason why I want to go back there, guys, is I wanted to make soul vials and then actually scrape a cow, even though we have a, I think we have a cow. Yes, so I could scrape these, this one. Do I have a, I don't have any sheep. It's another thing I would like to scrap. So we can we can get wool and stuff instead of having to, you know, do the, the string method. Because, well, it's a little bit boring making all the string. Um, and then possibly, you know, chicken, pig, and also maybe some hostile mobs. Just so I have these soul vials here. If you guys, you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's this right here that we need to make some... Oh, I need some quartz. So we are, oh yeah, so I'm going to need to make a lot of soul sand. Let me get some more going because um, we're going to need it to make the solarium. And let's just get a ton of cares. We need to make some solarium, which takes um, soul sand and gold. And we need to sieve this stuff to make um, the soul sand to get, I think that has a chance to give you gas tears, nether quartz, and nether wart, if I recall this right. Okay, so let's just try this out. Let's take 21 of these and put that into the manual one here and have this go. It's the last gravel right there. And we should be seeing something coming out here. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get nether quartz Gas tears and nether wart. I mean, all right, there's two already. So let's just double check here. Usage, yep, those three we get. This is 100% chance. And the 33 maybe means you could get an extra or something. 2% chance for gas tier and 5% chance for nether wart, which wouldn't actually be bad either to get some nether wart. Don't think we have any blaze, you know, for potions. Because we are going to have to tackle a dungeon on mars to get us the next schematics i believe Let's see from dust but we cannot make dust i don't think there's a way to make dust oh plutonium one plutonium plutonium not with a b <laughs> makes us a blaze powder okay and the recipe for this one leaving moon dirt that's six plutonium. I have some of this stuff, um, but it's not that easy to get. So when we're on the overworld, we could also open another portal. You know, go to the nether and get some resources for that. So I'm I'm not sure if I if I'm like breaking the progression or something, but 
I don't see why not. Um, the other thing is also that I'm not sure if the overworld is even there. It could be just be a void world because in the book says, you know, it's been destroyed. So if I go there, there might not be any room for my rocket to land and I'll just fall in the void. <laughs> uh, which would be horrible, but we, it's definitely something I think we should try out. So we got 12 of these, so we can get this going. Let's make some of this. Let's set this to alloys only. Let's make some of this fused quartz uh, glass. Let's check here real quick. So that's three per and a solarium. And like I said, the solarium is soul sand and gold. So, um, and what do we use this for? The soul vial, you'll need later on in... Um, wait a second, let me think here. Where is it? Where is the auto spawner? Why can I not find you? There we are. A powered spawner. All right, we need heads. We have a few of those. See, logic controller, we need to make silicon, which is out of sand or clay, in the sag mill. And right there, no. Wait a second, what did I need this for? Soul vials. I think it says here, um, combined with a broken spawner in an anvil. So I'm gonna have to find spawners, which I can get in dungeons. I know that on the moon. And ah, yes, I know now what it is. I think you need the, the soul binder here. If you take the soul binder and you put a broken spawner in it with a soul vial of a type you want, it changes the cage to that. And then we can take the cage and combine it with a powered spawner, for example, to make us a, a cow spawner. But I see I need a lot of heads. So maybe here, here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to make a, a mob farm here today. Um, and then down in the comments, I want you guys to tell me if you think it is cheesy if we go to the overworld or not. Um, and then I'm just going to go with the vote from you guys. So just let me know down in the comments. And I'm going to go ahead and prepare some stuff. Um, and then we'll build a mob farm today. Because obviously we're going to have to start getting some head drops and so on. You guys probably remember that we made this wooden killer here, right? Um... Apparently, you put this under the ground and it will hit the mobs above it. I think you can put it even underneath a floor and it will still hit them. But I was looking at the upgrades and so on, and the differences between the levels is the, the attack speed and, of course, the sword you can give it. This one you can... It does, like, an attack every four seconds or something like that. It's super slow. And if I upgrade this to diamond, for example, where you have uh, four attacks per second, which I would definitely want... You know, I'm going to need a million diamonds to upgrade all these uh, upgrades to make the radius larger and so on. Or I could just use the fan setup to push them all in the middle. But I decided not to go with this, but I want to go with the Killer Joe. Because the difference is the Killer Joe actually gives you XP. And I'm going to need a lot of XP because I died again. Outside, I was just looking around for a place for the mob farm. And all of a sudden, it just boosted me up. Um, I could barely see the surface anymore, which just within a second. And then I slowly descended and tried to stop, but it still didn't matter. I died. And I'm getting tired of it. So I took off the jetpack for now, and I want to make the dark boots later. Hopefully, towards the end of the episode, we can get that done. But I'm going to need a ton of XP to upgrade them, okay? To give you an idea, sorry, I needed to alt-tab. Um, to give you an idea, um, you need, like, I'm going to need... All to get uh, like 120 levels um, to do the upgrades on the boots. So I don't think I can take any more fall damage. And then I'm going to equip the jetpack again. So I just wanted to explain to you guys why I decided to go with the Killer Joe. Um, and while I'm doing some things here, my idea is that um, we're going to pump the XP out. We should be able to make this today. I really hope so. Let me make some glass. And I didn't just want to prepare everything off camera. And then like, yeah, guys, here, this is how we put it together. I kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit the process. I made a bunch more soul sand um, and sifted this and got some nether quartz. I already used some of it to make um, this stuff here, the diffused quartz. And I also pulverized some coal because we're going to need that. And by the way, when you pulverize sand to get this stuff, your silicon, 16 sand gave me 10 silicon. Um, I got a side product of sulfur dust. So 
that's pretty good. I think we're gonna need that later for something, I'm sure. But anyway, so, oh, I can put these back. And I also want to have some dark glass. I want to make it nice and fancy so we can look in. And I decided to put the mob farm over here. And when I'm standing up to here, I'm further than 24 blocks away. Like right here is the border. So when I'm over here doing my thing, you know, crafting and so on, the mob farm should always produce us mobs. Right now, even though it's dark, it's no mobs because we have the magnum torch upstairs. So we're going to have to take that down. Um, but here is my design idea. I kind of, I think I could have gone a little bit bigger, but it's good for now. This is easy to extend. And I just saw, we can have that. I forgot to put some nice blocks back there. Let's do that real quick. Nicer blocks. It's still only cobble, but hey, resources aren't that easy to come by here. Oops, didn't want to turn you on. And here in the corner, I added these. Let me put some light down so it's easier to see. Yeah, let's put another one over here just until we're ready. So, I got a bunch of fans and they're all kind of turned, right? And if, I, if I'm not mistaken, everything should get pushed to here easily. Um, they all push eight blocks far, but because they're overlapping and so on, there should be not any problems with them to come here. And the Killer Joe is going to be outside here and it can attack through the glass. And as far as I know, let's say the Killer Joe is... The glass is going to be here. Let's say the Killer Joe is here. It goes up to one, two, three, four blocks in front of it, and one, two to the side. One, two. So everything in in this area, including the torches, should be getting attacked by the killer Joe. So that easily these fans are gonna push to here, and then the killer Joe is just gonna whack them. Um, now the thing is that the killer Joe needs nutrient distillation. So for that, I'm going to need to make a vat. And it's going to be a little bit tough to get going. It, it, it requires water and then some kind of a meat. Okay, either meat like beef or anything or heads or from what it told me, also rotten flesh. So we have a little bit to get this going. But once the mop farm, you know, starts going, we're going to have lots of rotten flesh. So I think it's going to be fine. And the other ingredient I decided to go with you need meat and then some kind of uh, another ingredient. Oh, I can start this guy again. I don't know why I'm still making uh, wood because I have so much wood, it's bonkers. Um, I mean, look at this. <laughs> but the other thing that I want to go with is sugarcane. Um, because for the other one, we can use sugar. We can use mushrooms, nether warts, sugar, fermented spider eyes, stuff like that. Um, but I think sugar is just the easiest. It doesn't give you the biggest best ratio or anything But it should work just fine. So let's go ahead and craft some stuff here real quick I'm gonna need one of these. Luckily, I made enough capacitors Do I have enough? Oh, I need to shift click. I don't know why this stuff is still here. That's kind of weird What 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 am I doing? Here? This this one here. Let's get one of these and what's it take to make these? Oh, regular glass. Okay. I'm definitely going to go with regular glass. We need two of these. That in here and one, two. I actually, I've seen other people use the Killer Joe quite many times before. But I have never used it myself, so I know how it works and so on, so I should not have a problem with it. But it's, again, you never know what happens. So we've got everything else, and now I need to make the electrical steel, which I needed the silicone and four coal. So let's make four and four iron, and let's smelt this up real quick. And we can craft something else. It's set to alloys only. One, two, three, four. All right, that's going to make us four electrical steel. The dark steel we'll make later. So we got everything else. I just have to make one of these here. Um, a cauldron. And this out of here. It goes on top. Metal. Come on. One, two. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And while we also wait for that, we can make this fancy sand here. 32 and we'll throw this in here 
this is gonna make us this special glass thickened glass which will need to make dark glass um and i do i made some more wool we have a little bit so we should be fine um let's see how many of these i want to make this is gonna give me 12 so that's enough for two. it takes four right yes so that's enough for 15 that's 30. I think that should be enough uh, glass. I don't, I don't need the entire front to be glass. I think that as long as I can look inside, it's going to be fine. Um, and maybe, you know, when we have more wool uh, readily accessible, I might um, replace the entire wall. Because I do want to see it. I think it's going to be cool. And the other thing is also, guys, check this out. I checked I, Cursed Earth. And we can make Cursed Earth with dirt around a nether star. Um, and so what I was thinking here is, and perfect, I got one slab on me. We can actually later on, like right here, make a 3x3 three three pool or something of witch water. And then all the mobs that get pushed in, like the skeletons, they should turn into wither skeletons. And of course, then I need to make sure that there's no Enderman here. And then I can simply make another layer here real quick of, of slabs at this height. So it's only two and a half tall. And then no Enderman will spawn in here. Just make sure it's on one by one. Um, and then that way we can get all the mutated things. Possibly even... Yeah, we should get the Wither Skeletons. And then we can kill a, a, a Wither somewhere here we should be okay to do that here a little better armor or something but um i'm sure we can get it done and then the other thing is that yeah then we can make cursed earth and replace this floor here all we need is one because it's gonna spread so that would be awesome to actually make cursed earth out of this here don't think we're gonna get to it today um no i'm pretty sure we're not <laughs> that's that's gonna be here in one of the upcoming episodes um let me get 12 and i'm gonna need at least 15 yeah i need 15 of them but this should be done now. Perfect. And I still am on the hunt to... Or what is going to be my next power. And it's possible that um, I'm going to aim for nuclear craft. Even though I think we don't have everything we need for that yet. But I would definitely like to make my power with nuclear craft. That would be a lot of fun to set up. If I don't blow everything up on the moon. But that's another story. All right, now slice and splice. We, we do have a few heads, so we can make that. And I'm going to need five solarium for the slice and splice. Then we need to make a soul binder. So that's nine. And then for you in here, here we need two. So that's 11. So, okay, let's make 11 of these. Wow. What? Oh, okay. I thought I was completely out. So 11 of this and 11 soul sand. I'm not going to wait for this whole thing. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of progress of how I'm getting everything together. So let's put this and 11 of these to make me some solarium. And how much more do I have here? 43. That's a lot of solarium. All right, I'm going to take the rest here. I changed this up, by the way, here. Um, I took the pipe off. So this guy is because I kept filling up on gravel over and over. Um, and I just put it in here, and then what I can do is simply um, to make sure that it's actually going to give me... Oh, that was too many. Ay, ay, ay. I didn't want to do that. So then I simply put in five stacks here, so once this is done, it goes through the next five. So it's, a, it's halfway automated, but yeah, I, I was running full on gravel, and now I got more. <laughs> That's just perfect. All right, so let's get this out. It still has a few to go. And let's make 20. Okay. Oh, yeah, I need more glass. So over here, like I said, I'm just going to pull this up. I'm not going to put any lighting inside it to disable it. So how we would do this, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's 22, 33. Oh, I might actually fill the entire wall. And then up here, just make a border. It doesn't need to be that tall. So something like that. So later on, when we're ready to turn this on, it's actually very, very dark in there. And we shouldn't have any problems. What backup started? That must be new with this version. I don't remember seeing that. And then one, 
do something like that we'll close it off um i guess i do want to test out this real quick with you guys just to make sure what well, actually i can leave this here we're gonna try this out in a few different areas here so let's turn on these fans which is a little pain in the butt to do uh take an empty hand oh yeah this is strong I don't think we're going to have any problems getting the mobs over there. I probably made way too many fans, but it's quite cheap. So see, these are easily getting pushed from over here. Let's try it from all the way in the corner from here. I'm not, I'm just letting go. I'm just looking around. Oh yeah, look how fast I'm going. And I'm here. So what happens if something spawns in this corner? Oh, I'm not getting pushed. So I might have to put another fan back here and back there. Um, but then I guess it's not really that because if they spawn here, they are going to move. And all they need to do is either step here, you get pushed, or take one step back and get pushed. So this is a dead spot right here. But I think it's going to be fine. I'm not going to add any more fans. That's, that's fine. All right, guys. Um, what else do I have to build? Let's see if we got... Some of the solarium done. Yes, we do. Guess I don't even need to cut. Let's make this guy here. I'm going to need shears and an axe. And where are the heads? They are here. Um, Can I use a creeper head? Yes, I can. Because I know I'll need the, the, the uh, zombie heads for, for the actual death thing here that we need to make these guys right here they only work with a zombie head so i'd rather save those for now okay rid of this i'm actually excited about setting this up um all right i'm gonna need more iron let's get here the rest of this glass yeah and we need a stick to just make that real quick. Axe. Oh, I totally forgot. I, I'm going to need two of these. Because the slice and splice actually needs that to function also. So we'll take this one with us. Take that out. And another shear right there. Okay. Slice and splice. I have everything else. Oh, so we got this thing also. So now we got the vat and the slice and splice. And the slice and splice, I'm gonna... I don't like this arrangement here yet, guys. But I don't really want to redo too much until we have a different power source. Um, because then we're probably gonna redo a lot here anyway. The soul binder, as far as I know, doesn't need power. Oh, I could have just used that key. Alright, so now we put the, these two in here. You need these. They don't get used up all the way. They last quite a uh, while in this. So, and now we need to make the soul binder. So I need four more, oh, another one of these. Do I have any copper in here? Yes, I do. Um, I need to make a little more nuggets. And we'll need to make another one of these. Just one for now. And, oh. Oh, do I have a skeleton head? I don't have a skeleton head, guys. I, this is kind of weird, guys. I, I finally got a skeleton skull right here, yeah? I was outside running around on the moon, killing mobs, and then after about 15 minutes running around, um, I'm like, why am I doing this out there, right, if I got a mob farm right here? So what I actually did is I prepared it so I can stand down here, and when they spawn, they all get pushed into the middle, and I can just hit them in the ankles, right? And on the very first wave, I got the skeleton skull. And I brought the torch down from up here. I had it placed here while I was building this, right? And then when I broke it, and see, maybe I get lucky this time. I ran over here. I actually walked backwards. And as soon as I reached here, there was a group spawning. And now I recorded three times to show you guys how I did it. I restarted. I looked at... Um, the F3, you can see it like this. If you guys see, their oxygen is right over entities. But when you press escape, you can actually see 6 of 55. 
the way I'm looking. So there's no entities here either. So they should be spawning just like they did a minute ago. But I cannot get them to spawn. So I don't know if there's different spawn rules or something. I am further than 24 blocks away. But I just, I just can't get them to spawn. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I figured I'm, we're just going to now build the, the, the stuff that we were building. Um, I even, you know, checked. Um, it is morning. I don't know if that is actually here or in the overworld. Yeah, no, nothing. All right, so we're just going to build this now, and then hopefully it will eventually work again. It just, it's just really weird that, that now it doesn't work anymore. So we're going to need this and that. You can see, and I got 13 more rotten flesh, which is perfect for um, making that nutrient stuff that this guy needs, the killer Joe. He needs a nutrient distillate, distillant something. So, where were we? We got the vat. We got the slice and splice, but we wanted to make the soul binder. Yes, I need a creeper. Oh, oh no, I totally forgot about the Enderman head. Oh my. Um, what is it called? The Ender? Yes. Can we make this guy? Because I do have Enderman spawn. Uh, where is it? Right here, I have three of them. So we can spawn three. One, we're gonna scrape for sure. Um, we need to make sure that we scrape it. So before I even forget that, I should have, I'm gonna make one more now. I need to make one more. Sorry, I had a little cough there. Um, so we need to make one more. What else do I need? I need a piece of gold. Yes, because the other ones we counted out as many as we needed. And that was in here. So there's the other four. And I need to make one more for this bottle that I'm making now. So I guess we need to do that. And hopefully we will get the kill. It should be like this. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, awesome. So we're going to make that. But we need to make an ender because it says increased skull and ender pearl drops. And I think they also don't teleport. And all it takes is two dark steel and a stick. And that one we make again with coal, obsidian. And oh my god, what's going on right now? I'm about to sneeze. First I get a cough attack and now I get a sneeze. So we need two of these. Actually, um, one, two, three, four more. Let's just make everything for the boots also that I wanted to make. I forgot. It takes... Coal, iron, so let's get six iron and six of this and get those going as well. I can't believe there's no drops. I just don't understand it. Uh, no drops, no mob spawns. Yeah, I'm so sidetracked because this is on my mind that it's hard for me to um, actually focus on what I'm trying to say here. So we just need two of these real quick so we can make... The ender. I I don't get it. It's there. There should be spawns, five entities. Um, we're nowhere near the cap. That's impossible. And I'm thinking it's like I don't have another thing that stops spawns, does it? No, I mean they spawned as soon as I broke the torch the first time. So there's just no reason they should not spawn. Let me wait this out here real quick. All right, we got these two. Now we can make the ender. And I'm not going to enchant it because we're not going to use it that much. But I can leave the diamond. So actually, well, let's put this in here. Perfect. So still no drops. Drops again. Mobs. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what's happening here. Why, why there's something wrong. I, I'm telling you this. This is not normal. So now the thing is, I'm going to try to spawn one right here and then instantly use the vial and get its soul. Hopefully that will work. I got it. All right. So now we have one which is really important. So later on, hopefully we can make an Enderman spawner so we don't have any more problems with um, uh, Ender Pearl drops or making them with Mind Chem. And now let's see. Please give me a head. I beg you. I got an ender pearl, but no head. Is there a way to craft this? 
No. Well, we got one more, guys. If that doesn't work, then... We might have to do an Enderman um, spawner, if that is possible at all. Please give us a head. Please, please, please. I beg you. Nope, just two Ender Pearls. Well, okay. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Uh, just we're gonna have to go for the powered spawner. Let me see again. Powered. But the thing is that I need a... I need a soul cage, uh, a spawner cage in order to do that. Um, let's see here. Broken spawner. Let's. Is there a way we can craft this? No. Zombie, spider, cave spider, blaze, enderman, chicken. I don't think we can craft those. Well, this really sucks, guys. Um. Throws a total curveball my way. Hmm. Definitely says Howard Spawner. Empty Enderman. Ooh. Wait a second. Oh, that says empty. Okay, so that's just... I don't know why there is... Different recipes. I don't think you can actually craft the Enderman. Man, that just made me happy. So we need to make this, but then it says here, combined with a broken spawner in an anvil. And there's just no other way. So this is kind of a... This is kind of a bummer. Um, I don't know what to do here now. R hmm... Well, the only other thing I guess we I gotta do now. Sorry, guys. I really was hoping to get this done today, but I just don't know how we can get our hands on an Enderman head. See, they spawned. Yay! I can at least show you guys how I did this. Yep, and you can just hit them in the ankle here, and then they fly away, of course. But then they will come back in just a second, and there's one dead. This guy spawned in front of me. This evolved zombie. That's weird. Excuse me? How was he hitting me? That was weird. Anyway. So let me... I'm gonna leave the magnum torch. Uh, where am I gonna put this thing? Um, let's put it into my bag. How's that? Put it right there. Good. So we got this one. Uh, again, put the skeleton head back and this thing here. We'll put that away and all the other mob drops here and this and that Okay, um, I guess the only other thing guys right now I, I don't I, I really would like to get this done without having to go to the overworld um, And the only other way I can see of doing that is if we build a moon buggy Because that way I can get around you know fast and hopefully find one of the dungeons and then we can go down there and break a spawner um let's see here real quick so we can get rid of all this moon buggy um buggy there we go buggy so that's gonna take oh my goodness i need leather this is easy so i'm gonna need 16 leather and the other things here, you guys remember, I showed you how we crafted them when we did the rocket. Now, how did we do leather again with this carrot? Yes. Ooh, we get five. I remember this different. Hmm. I guess, actually, guys, if we need to go for leather already, I'm just going to make 12 leather and make a glider. Because then I'm not even going to mess around with the moon buggy. We're just going to make the glider. And the keratin we did again like this. And I also showed you guys how we did this the other episode. So let me go ahead and make 12 leather. We make a glider. And then I'm going to fly around until we find a dungeon. We need to get a broken spawner. BRBs. Just making the last few ingredients that I'll need to make this leather. That should be like this. 
that. And this makes us the keratin. So should make three of them, which is not much, but we get five per. So I made a few extra. Nope. Just one. So five, ten, fifteen. Yay, we got fifteen leather. So much work. <laughs> Just to make some leather. And I'm gonna need five sticks. Before I forget though. Oops, nope. Go ahead and learn this here. Just so it's in the book. And if my memory serves me right, there's one, two glider wings. Got three leather. And there's our glider. Yay! Awesome. Well, guys, uh, honestly, it's. Ooh, we got some stuff to kill here. Let's kill these. Yeah, let's kill these real quick. They spawn so seldom that I'll gladly take all the XP in the world right now. Up to 18, because I do want to get these boots done. Um, possibly. Yeah, now we're going to make these boots real quick. And then I can show you what I'm planning on upgrading them with. Come on. Give me your string. Thank you very much. All right, so I just put this gobbledygook away. And I don't, it, it's going to probably take me a long time to actually find this dungeon, okay? So, um, I did I start the other? Yes, we got him. Perfect. And let's put this here. So I think that next episode, we're going to tackle that dungeon and see what we can do. So let's see here. I need a vibrant crystal and 10 levels to get this empowered at all. What does it take to make a vibrant? Please tell me I can make this a vibrant crystal. All right, I need an emerald. We got those and the vibrant alloy is made energetic and an ender pearl. Okay, the energetic is redstone, gold and glowstone. One, two. Let's make that real quick. Get that. Bam, bam. All right, you're cooking. Good. Now let me get one ender pearl. Man, ender pearls are so valuable, which it should be, honestly, in Minecraft. I think that's actually good. It it keeps it interesting. And I got the 10 levels, so we can put that. And then after that, we need to put the capacitors. Um, I'd like to get a double layer capacitor on there, but that's a lot of levels that I need to do that. Okay, so that's cooking. And then we also need to make three pistons on top of that. Because the pistons, I believe that's what it is, um, give us jump boost. And also give us, I'm just going to make two because there's a third one. Um, they give us, I think when you get it to jump three, that's what we have to check, guys. Um, even though it doesn't show it here. Okay, you guys see it doesn't show it here. But when I go to boots and show the empowered one, you guys see jump three increases step and jump height allows triple jumps. Um, and you see the white text on top fall damage negated when empowered. Oh, wait a second. Maybe we'll get this instantly as soon as we have it empowered. Well, we shall find out. Let's get one of you. And craft this up. So it was like this. And that. There's our vibrant crystal. Let's put this guy in here. And my anvil is right there. Bam. Dark boots. Yep. Fall damage negated when empowered. Awesome. We already got it. So I'm going to just throw these in here. 100,000 RF so they can start charging. I actually don't want to jump then, guys. Um, because, well, we already jumped so high. So I can actually leave this. That's good. That saves me levels. But we need to make a capacitor. Actually, we're going to need three capacitors. How does this work again? Um, one, two, three. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, there we go. Oh, well, I made one too many. It don't matter. Capacitor. I'm going to need so many eventually. Anyway, double layer capacitor needs two more and a coal dust. So I'm going to need... What? Two more. So I need two gold, two 
two redstone and two more glowstone. And then we can get that double layer going there. So let's do this first. Um, and I won't be able to do this just yet. So this is going to go here. And in the middle is this thing right there. And then the two energetic ones. But I think this first one is 10. I need the boots, of course. It's going to be 10 levels and then 20 levels and then 30 levels. Yes. So you see right here, right now, it shows 100,000 and this goes up to 150,000 and 60% of the damage is absorbed by the power, while this one is 50%. You know, and I want to get this up, so more power. And eventually, I think I might make the whole dark steel uh, armor between it. So the pants and also the helmet. Nah, I'm going to make them when these are broken. I think that's actually better. So one more. Come on, give it to me. Thank you. And put this there. And now you're going to see. It's going to say that I can. I, I don't think I've. No, I did go to the Octatic in my um, 15 levels only. In my Infinity series, I did go to Octatic. Which is then, I think, 90%. Yeah, 75 and the next one is then 90%. Uh, piston, flippers, we don't need those. Okay, so I need 15 levels, then I can upgrade these. And, wait a second, it loses the power every time? That's a ripoff. <laughs> um, and I'm going to leave this one here because I want to go out now and just fly around and explore. As soon as I got these boots. Um, done, they're done, awesome. Let's put these on and put this one back in here for now. And we can go exploring, guys. Um, but like I said, hey, what? Oh, you know what helps? When you put the jetpack on, then you can probably fly. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Now I can really go high. There we go. Open the glider. Open the glider. Hello. Hello. Thank you. And now I got the view. I'm at a zero 0200. That's about where the base is. And now I should be able to find these dungeons or a dungeon. You know, it, it's so hard when you run around on this. Look at the amount of meteors. They're everywhere. This is crazy, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, I'm sorry that we did not get the mob spawner done. This is a weird view right there. Um, but you guys see, I need that Enderman head. Otherwise, we cannot make the Killer Joe. And I really want to make the Killer Joe. Because, well, it's a challenge, right? And I'll see you guys in the next one. When we'll tackle a dungeon, get us a broken spawner, and then finish our mob farm. And then whatever else comes our way. And don't forget to go down in the comments, please. And let me know if you guys want me to go to the overworld or not. If you guys find it cheesy... If I go there, um, you know, to for example, make a mob farm or whatever we do down there. But so just let me know down what you think in the comments and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Take care, stay safe and bye bye.